Hey, it's Joshua Vergar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And this is the matchup that many of you have been waiting for. Samsung's newest and greatest versus HTC's best. Yeah, this is the Samsung Galaxy S4 versus the HTC One. Design on the Galaxy S4 was always doomed to come down to this. You are either cool with or absolutely hate the plastic material and feel. What is incredible about the S4, however, is that for having a 5-inch screen, it feels almost exactly the same as the S3. It is even thinner and a little lighter. The HTC One has gotten praise for its aluminum body and is certainly one of the best-looking smartphones available. The body comes around the 4.7-inch screen and makes the phone shine. Quite literally. The feel is pretty much the same on both, as the full devices are around the same size. I do really love the HTC One's sleek and industrious profile, but I cannot deny Samsung their feat of making the best handling 5-inch screen device out now. I'm forced to give this one a tie. Size does matter in the display category. The Samsung Galaxy S4 definitely has the edge by having a little more screen with a total 5 inches. It is the very saturated Super AMOLED technology that makes colors really pop. Viewing angles are great on the S4, as you can still see elements of the screen even at the steepest angles. The HTC One's LCD display is capable of the very same, but it is a little smaller. See, I'm all about the 5-inch screen, especially one as good as this. So, the Galaxy S4 narrowly gets the display point. Performance on either of these devices will please anyone. You'll be zipping through either BlinkFeed or TouchWiz with absolutely no problems. That is because the Snapdragon 600 processor powers these flagships. The N22 score draws the line, however, as the HTC One clocks in at 1.7 GHz and scores a little lower than the 1.9 GHz powerhouse found in the Galaxy S4. In terms of raw numbers, the S4 just barely gets the point, but come on. Either variant here will bring you a lot of wonderful speed and enjoyment. It's no secret that the Galaxy S4 comes with a bevy of new bits and pieces, mainly in sensors. See the full review for a comprehensive list, but I will mention the infrared sensor for air gestures, a gyroscope for pedometer abilities, and a sensitive screen that converts your finger into an S Pen. Not to mention the ability to remove that back cover and gain access to the replaceable battery and SD card slot, the S4 really does offer quite a lot. The HTC One on the other hand doesn't offer nearly as much as the S4 but has a couple aces in the hole. We'll get to the camera in a bit, but boom sound beckons. These front-facing speakers are spectacular performers and make the HTC One a nice little sound system. I love boom sound, but I have to admit that the practicality of expandable memory and replaceable batteries, as well as the fun you can have due to all those sensors, does put the S4 on top. Battery life favors the Galaxy S4 because of that removable battery, but also it has a higher capacity at 2600 mAh which trumps the non-removable 2300 battery in the HTC One. Now the camera situation is very interesting. On the one hand, you have Samsung's success with the S3's 8MP shooter returning with the very good 13MP performer in the S4. Not only are the optics better, but the app has been given a lot of new features like eraser and drama modes. With very good quality, you have a ton of ways to get your shot. On the other hand, the HTC One decided to forego the megapixel count and focus the quality on only four. Without the many different modes the S4 can boast, low-light performance turns out to be the Ultra Pixel's main attribute. The Galaxy S4 might give you a lot of ways of getting your shot, but the Ultra Pixels actually do their job. Even if the picture from the HTC One is a lot smaller, I can't deny their quality. So because both of these cameras fulfill particular needs, I will give them both the point. And finally we get to the software. In one corner you have TouchWiz the over-the-top Samsung UI that is uber colorful and at times can seem a little crowded. I was never really a fan until I saw how it worked on a 5-inch screen. The flamboyant UI actually works well for this 1080p display. Throw in a number of new navigation abilities like air gesture and air view, health monitoring via S-Health, and even smart scrolling and pausing, and you have an OS capable of a great deal of cool things. And in the other corner is Sense, which has gotten a lot of flack in the past for its spaced-out design. But, Sense 5 revitalizes HTC's UI with a better coat of polish and blink feed, in addition to the home screens that consolidate social media and news outlets into one easy-to-navigate panel. It's a great addition that I actually used a lot more than I thought I would. If the HTC One was rocking an earlier version of Sense, it would have lost right away. But I have to give blink feed credit for taking up quite a bit of my time. 
TouchWiz finally looks all right to me, and its additions are quite fun to use. I will give this one a tie because, to be honest, I have fun and get things done with either one. Now, pricing on both flagships will likely be around the $200 mark for two-year contracts in the US. Otherwise, the HTC One Unlocked actually comes in at the cheaper price of around $575 compared to the $700 unlocked price of the S4. If price is a big deal to you, you really can't go wrong saving a little bit of money on all that HTC's beast has to offer. And so, there you have it. The Galaxy S4 does take the win in this versus primarily because Samsung really packed in a lot of features into its phone. It really is a device of choice. You might not use all of the new features, but they are there for you nonetheless. HTC went a little bit simpler and focused on hardware design. Boom sound is an amazing addition, and I do have to admit that blink feed is a hugely positive direction for sense. Ultimately, the unlocked price dictates the battle here. The Samsung's larger screen and more robust feature list do make it pricier than the still wonderful HTC One. And for a lot of people, it's going to come down to just these two phones. But given the quality of either device, isn't having that choice pretty awesome? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and then head on over to AndroidAuthority.com because we're your source for all things Android.